Alright, welcome to a lesson on lines and segments that intersect circles. Forewarned, this is a very definition and theorem heavy lesson, as well as this whole unit is very definition and theorem heavy. So, let's get started. We're going to start with definitions. Told you. So, a circle. So, this is our definition of a circle. Circle is the set of all points equidistant from a point called the center. Circles are named by their centers. So a chord, so this is the definition of a chord, of a circle is a line segment whose endpoints lie on the edge of the circle. And the diameter is a chord through the circle's center. Now, we didn't put the definition of radius here because you should know what a radius is from previous times. You should also know what the diameter is. Just wanted to throw that in there anyway. Three more definitions. A secant is a line, ray, or segment that goes through the circle. So, a chord is inside the circle. A secant is something that goes through our circle. A tangent is a line, ray, or segment that touches a circle at exactly one point on the edge. So a tangent doesn't go through the circle at all. It touches one tiny point on the edge of that circle. And point of tangency that's where the tangent line touches your circle. And here's a picture. So in white we have the chord, the diameter is red, the secant is green, and our tangent line is blue. And then our center of the circle there, we're going to name that P. So the name of this circle is circle P. So this is circle P. We name it by the center. You can also see it written as a little circle with a dot and then whatever the name is. Alright, our first theorem. Tangent line to a circle theorem. In a plane, so on our coordinate grid in space in where we exist, in a plane, a line is tangent to a circle if and only if. So this if and only if, that's big. The line is perpendicular to the radius of the circle and the endpoint of the radius. So, the only way that this white line here can be tangent to this circle is if we take the radius and we see that there is a right angle that exists here. So that's what that theorem says. It's only tangent if there's a right angle to the radius. So here's the question. Is AB tangent to the circle? So we have our radius. Our radius is 5. We have AB, and we see that from this point here, the point of tangency to B is 12. And you can't really tell it's a 3. This is a 3. So you notice, if you didn't see this before, there's an imaginary line we can draw here. And hmm, we have a triangle and we want it to be a specific type of triangle. We want this to be a right triangle. So we have to test using our converse of the Pythagorean theorem to see is it a right triangle. If it is, then it's a tangent line. If it's not, then that line is not tangent. So we take leg squared plus leg squared and see if it equals hypotenuse squared. So 25 plus 144 and we find out that indeed it is a right triangle. So because this is a right triangle, that means that this right angle does exist. So our answer is yes, it is a tangent. Our external tangent congruence theorem says that tangent segments from a common external point are congruent. And we have our picture. We have circle P. We have A and B, which are points of tangency. And we have point C, which is an external point. And we see that both the segment going from B and A has share the point C. So if AC and BC are tangent to circle P, then AC is congruent to BC. So because they come from that external point and they're tangent, they are also congruent. 
and we'll see that applied right here. We're going to find the perimeter of this very badly drawn triangle. I will admit that's very badly drawn. We're going to assume that if it looks like a tangent line, it is a tangent line. So this right here, we're going to assume it's tangent. This right here, we're going to assume it's tangent. And this right here, we're going to assume it's tangent, despite my beautiful drawing. So, let's start over here on the left. Here's this external point. We have this point of tangency and this point of tangency here. And we have a tangent line going from each. Well, we know from our previous theorem that those are congruent. If they're congruent, they're also equal. So this is congruent to that. So if this is 12, this is also 12. We see this point here goes there to there. That means that these two are congruent. So if this is 5, then this is also 5. And likewise follows here. So these are congruent. So 10 and 10. Now all we have to do is add up all the sides. So we add up all the sides. 24, 34, 44, 54. So the perimeter equals 54 units. So all right. Here's our lesson on lines and segments that intersect circles.